Hi guys, and um, <laughs> welcome to this week's live stream. I promised it would be this evening, but um, I was doing this lecture all day and yeah, it got kind of late. <laughs> it's also really starting to get cold because my nose is all locked up with, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so... I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes for you guys to tap in and then um, let's talk about all these energy shifters going on. Hey guys! <laughs> it was really awesome. Today I had the first um, lecture here in Budapest and really surprisingly people were so open and um yeah I, I i could really feel their hearts it was <laughs> yes it, it was really um i was so grateful for everybody who was there <laughs> um yeah alfred i normally i have this other thing but it fell out so now it's the nose ring until tomorrow <laughs> so um last time or last week we were talking about all these energy shifts and we were talking about this new moon that was coming up i don't know how you guys have been feeling but for me the last week have been one big roller coaster one big emotionally roller coaster and i felt it not only within me but within everybody around me you know <laughs> one thing is that you are being represented for these old energies and um, old memories are popping up and you are reacting upon it but for those who are still linked to those memories um, patterns are repeating themselves and for those who don't understand that this time can be a part partly heavy <laughs> On the other side, it's a great, great chance for developing ourselves. It's a great, great chance to stop up and look inside. And behind every experience lies love, lies beauty. And what I learned in life and what I, of course, want to share is <laughs> when we surrender into the emotions there is, when you surrender into the feelings that you have, you are not controlled by it any longer. So, for example, this yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I woke up, something happened, and I was so angry. I was really, really, really angry, <laughs> like crazy angry, and I just thought, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna allow it. I'm just gonna run to the gym and I'm just gonna box until it's all out, you know? And um and I and I did and I went there and I just went full on like two hours nonstop smashing the bag so badly. <laughs> so what I did was I, I got all these feelings, all this energy, I got it out of my system, I allowed it, I fully embraced the anger without letting it take over, without letting it control me. So it was not like I was reacting out of my anger, doing stupid stuff that will um, affect other people. So if you are angry at somebody, you can easily go into your ego and start blaming each other, right? But if you just feel anger and you are well aware, <laughs> whatever you feel is always on your side. No matter who trigger is or why they trigger it, it's always on your side. It's within you. It all happens within you. So I went there. I went boxing. Uh, yeah, two hours nonstop on the backs. And I thought, wow, okay, the anger's out. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to also tell what is going on inside of me. So I I went. Uh, and I, I got the words out for what I was feeling. And of course, underlying the anger was other emotion. It was insecurity or uh, <laughs> things I did not understand. But by saying it out loud, by getting it out of my system, 
I was free from it, instantly free from it. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter deeply, it doesn't matter how the other person or the other people are reacting upon the message that you have, the, <laughs> the anger, whatever has triggered it. Uh, what truly matters within you is for you to fully embrace what you feel, fully allow yourself to have the emotions and to express it. The moment it's out, the moment that you have released it, you're free from it. And in my in my case, <laughs> sometimes I think I got I have I'm this little PMS girl kind of thing. <laughs> but in my case, I just needed to say I just needed to be angry, say whatever I felt out loud, all my insecurity, confusion, and when it was out. I was completely free again. I, I I only felt love for everybody, to everybody. I I didn't feel any discomfort or judgment or felt other people have done to me or something like that. I just felt completely free. So <laughs> what I what I want to say with it is that no matter what we feel, no matter who have triggered it. Um, what matters is the emotion there is inside of you and how you deal with it. And if you allow it or you suppress it, if you suppress it, it stays within you. If you suppress it, you start acting not from your heart any longer, but from your ego. And when you start acting from your ego, you can't see clearly anymore. You cannot see the other persons clearly anymore. Then we go into this whole ego game patterns or past life, <laughs> uh, re remembering kind of thing, and we forget all about who we are. We forget all about the other person because we can't see them clearly. We see our illusion, our illusion of our own old pain and not who they truly are. So the message <laughs> is to fully allow your feelings, fully embrace your feelings, fully embrace your emotions, allow it to get through Make sure that your lines are always clear. Be honest to yourself. Be honest to the people around you. Whatever you feel, don't suppress it. Even if you think it's stupid that you always have all these feelings or insecurities or whatever it is, just allow them. As we allow them, we become free from them. And we are able to see each other clearly. We are able to look each other in the eyes and feel each other's heart instead of <laughs> meeting each other on an ego level or meeting each other uh, out of our heart in our pain bodies especially in this time this is so important because that all these old patterns are coming up because of all this old pain are representing itself in people around people and when they go to that pain when they go to that state they can't they can't see each other <laughs> you know they just see these illusions and these pictures of the past and the person that might have been your best friend or your wife or whatever all of a sudden becomes the, this picture of insecurity, this picture of fear or hurt. So what we need to do is every time it comes up we need to deal with it ourselves, we need to deal with it inside of ourselves so we can go through it the end of the day, look each other in the eyes, feel their heart and see each other for who we truly are. See each other for who we are in this now, right here. <laughs> um, so basically, <laughs> that was what I really wanted to share with you guys today. And um, yeah, do you have Anything you wish to talk about or share? Um, how do you know if you truly feel? How do you know if you truly feel? Huh? How do you know if you truly feel? Your feelings are... Yeah, how do you explain this? Everything you feel is true. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's your emotions or it is your feelings or if it's the thought that has planted itself and become to a feeling. 
as long as you feel it, it's some part somehow became a part of you. So it's just allowing that feeling, whatever it is. If it comes from the outside or the inside, just allow it. So it like an energy stream will flow through you and you will become free of it once again. Um, often, <laughs> often when we have too many emotions, it becomes one big chaos. We don't know what is up and what is down. So just allow yourself to have whatever time that you need to <laughs> to go for yourself and just get all the emotions out. Often and less and less, but especially earlier in my life, I didn't know uh, what I exactly was reacting on or why I was feeling sad or insecure. So I just had all these emotions and I, I would say like 100 words about it's also because that the sky is falling down and I'm actually really ugly and maybe I should have been shorter and you know like all these things that doesn't make sense at all but I just needed to get all the words out in order of coming to this underlying feeling that was the true feeling behind it all could just be an insecurity in not feeling safe um, or not feeling seen or something like that and and that triggered all this other uh, emotion on top of it. So first I just allowed all these weird words to come up, blah, 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 in my head or write it on paper or just allow it to stream through. And then I, I can come to that underlying feeling and understand, oh, this is why, this is what it come from. And this is the core issue within me in this moment. Okay, I will look into that. Uh, Pian, I love you too. <laughs> um, was there anything else? I'm also running a low in power on the phone, I see. <laughs> Sometimes I do not trust the support from the universe. How do I know for sure? Anna Hitman Manuel. <laughs> The universe are always supporting you. It's not always we see it. Sometimes the universe send us places where we think, what? How is this ever going to be healthy for me? You know, like I'm just one big chaos. It doesn't make sense. But somehow you need to find yourself in that chaos to understand what you truly need. Sometimes we need to bring yourself in situations where we need, we need to act strong or we need to really truly trust ourselves. So... The situations might look wrong or look um, harsh, but it's all in our for our own greater good. It's all for us to learn to stand stronger in ourselves, learn to trust our hearts. Um, so even if you doubt in the universe, take a deep breath and just know that your universe is always there for you because it's a part of you. You're part of it. You know, just life itself is a gift, so it's never against you. Even in the darkest moments, even if you are raped in a forest or locked in some room for 10 hours, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, <laughs> then it's never to be against you. It's truly to help you understand or feel this deep thing inside of yourself. I often have been filled tested by the universe in, in many different forms. I think like, seriously, here we go again, why, you know? But it only makes me stronger. It only makes me not closed. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make me close down. I don't want me to close down. It's showing me to have more trust, more trust in myself, more trust in my heart, more trust in the universe. And as you learn to embrace that, you just have this deeper in the knowing that everything will always be okay. Um, right now, I'm, for example, in Budapest, there's a lot of low frequencies sometimes with people looking angry and the energy is so different. <laughs> um, but I am truly grateful. I am truly happy. And I understand that within the darkest places, you can feel, find the most light. It is on earth as it is within ourselves, and um, yeah, I think that was what I wanted to share. 
So, uh, <laughs> the last part I wanted to say today is yes, the energy are crazy. They are just working on high speed in every way, in every level, and it is touching and influencing all of us. Um, stay true to yourself straight through to your heart don't give up don't give in you know surrender to your heart if things feels too heavy put on some christmas music find your favorite song just laugh at the whole situation and know that everything always are in divine timing everything is always for the greater good and I know so much crazy stuff is going on at the planet right now and within people and when we look at religions and the fights and and all these things that the mainstream wants to manifest is to keep us in fear, is to keep us away for seeing the truth and the truth is that we are the creators, the truth is that we create the world reality we wish to be a part of. So please <laughs> search into your heart look inside of your soul and don't support the fear don't support the fear the anger don't hate the usa people do not hate the muslims don't surrender into these beliefs of how people are because we don't know we only know what we are told I know a lot of going on right now and I see it. I see the fight, I see the anger, I see the revenge in people. And trust me, what <laughs> what the media is telling us is not the fully truth. Some of the most beautiful people I know are Muslims. And I love them. I love the religion. I love the essence of Islam. I love the essence of the Christian people. I love the essence of every religion. And I do not like <laughs> the way that some people are trying to control everything and controlling people like sheep, you know. So what can we do? We cannot support one country. We cannot support one religion. This is not how we deal with it. It's not how we're going to save the world. We cannot support by going to war and fight for the rights because... There is no right, there is no wrong, there is just manipulation. And the only true thing we can do is seek deep within our hearts. Just look each other in the eyes, see the person, see the human for what it is. Understand we are all one. It's all brothers, it's all sisters. There is no duality in the essence of who we truly are. So embrace the love, trust the love within everybody <laughs> and only believe in what you see and what you feel in your heart from my perspective i don't watch television i don't have a television and i don't want to watch the news it's only bringing fear upon everything i believe in what i see i believe in what i feel deep inside of my heart this is the only thing that will remain true to who i am so <laughs> I wanted to share that and I hope it's something you can use along your journey in this week. And as always, if you have questions or anything you want to share or anything, you're always welcome to tune in or send me a message or something. And I will talk with you guys next week. And I love you so, so much. <laughs> I wish you all a very, very great start of this December month month it's like christmas december yeah so i guess it's it did it